What up, gang? This is Ken Zark. Ken Zark, Ken Zark, Ken Zark, and we are back on Persona 5 Royal. This is this this is the same day. I I haven't been. Uh, it's the same day. I just got a little bit of rest and I got back to it. I honestly, I just wonder what you call it. Is bro still here? Why are you still here, bro? Go go see go see your loved ones or something. Go away. How have you been since the last talk? Anything bothering you? You got time, I'd be happy to chat. Oh, I thought that was Yusuke. Stupid. What are we doing today? Aren't we going to the palace? If we are, I'll count on you to gather everyone. Nah, you don't work, you don't eat. Ever heard that phrase before? If you're up for it, why don't you learn how to work here? Yeah, let's help him out. So you do get it, alright. Put your stuff down and come back here. It's about time for one of the regulars to arrive. She's a talkative one. Where have you well. been? Now then, since you're going to be working in my store, I'll need to hammer home the basics. You know what I'm talking about, right? Uh... Making coffee. Yup, glad to see you understand at least that much. The store is not the busiest around, but I'm real particular about how we do things here. It's extremely hot. Like, I have my fan running, so I hope that doesn't bother the mic. And I'll kick you out, no questions asked if you serve the bad cup. You got that? So let me tell you, So Chan definitely does things right with this coffee. It goes so well with his special curry, I can't help but order the set meal every time. What can I say? Each of my regulars gets an experience personally tailored to them. Can you tell me the key so that for that to that wonderful flavor, So Chan? I'd love to make it at home sometime. Sorry, that's a trade secret. You're free to try and guess based on the taste, though. Cheapskate. Keep it secrets from me even though you know your food's already stolen my heart. How about a nice dessert, then? It's only 300 yen. When you run a shop, you get, to know, you get all sorts of customers. Knowing their personalities is absolutely vital. That's what being in food service is all about. Welcome. Whoa. You. Hello there, it's been a while, Sakura-san. I heard you opened up a shop, so here I am. It wouldn't have hurt to mention it to me, though. Uh, you got a real nice location here, right by the station and everything. Your order? No small talk? Ah, uh, that's cold. But this smell sure brings back memories. You're still making that curry, huh? I guess you haven't gotten over her yet. You are erd order, sir. Ah, uh, so pushy. I just stopped in to say hi. I'll be back soon, though. Bye. Jeez. Uh, I don't know where he caught wind of this place. That guy seems suspicious. I don't like him. I guess you have an eye for some things after all. Anyways, if you have time for questions, you have time to be learning about bean types. You're not going to be of any use to me until you pick up on the ABC sometime soon. Besides, Lady loves a guy who knows his coffee. They said it's such a bad deal for you. I want the ladies to love me. <laughs> if only you were this obedient all the time. Either way, I'm going to teach you right. That way I'll be able to sit back and relax while you work. He seems chill. He was a little annoying when he first pulled up, but he seemed chill. All right. And start closing up and no slacking off, you got it? Steady calling my phone. Hey, it's me. Guess this number works. I forgot to ask for your cell number, so I had to dig it out of your paper. It's a real hassle, let me tell you. Anyway, you done closing up yet? I'm gonna have you handle that from now on, so you better learn now. Seems like you're a quick study, so I hope you got the hang of it. Got it. Don't forget, once you're a little more settled in, I'm gonna have you doing more chores. But man, not sure how I feel calling up a guy's phone. Anyhow, 
We'll get the routine ground into you. That way I might be able to take it easy. All right, don't stay up too late. I had to call my phone. I had to told you before that it's over. Ain't it no, ain't it when you hey. my throat. Today we're going over. She looks mean. I don't care. Do you know the silver ratio? Oh yeah, I've heard of the golden ratio. That's what they use for like to determine whether or not a face is um, attractive by um, majority standards. One one four one four. Yes, sir. Why do I look like paying attention to school? All right, right now I'm gonna go to the study corner. What do you mean I should have got expelled? Leave me alone. Are you good? He's talking about Mr. Kamashita. I wonder if those phantom these really do exist. Oh no, Ikesugi Kun's heart got get stolen. I'd, I'll knit him a scarf for his birthday. We'll be together. I just need to weave in my hair. Uh, you're yucky. You're yucky. Oh, it's you. Um. I'm sorry for what I said. I judged the book by its cover. I failed as a library assistant. There may be times where other students give you a hard time. Please don't mind them. Feel free to use the library whenever you want. I certainly don't feel that hostility I was feeling from everyone before. You won't be able to raise your guts anymore. You picked it up somewhere. Nothing to do with me, understand? I didn't see it, I didn't touch it. I don't know anything about it. You clear? That's it, then go home. You can go window shop somewhere hey. else. That modified model gun should be a powerful weapon to use during palace battles. Let's ask him about what was inside the bag. Don't freak him out, just ask him. Come on. Huh? Alright. Sounds good. Yeah, you know I need some weapons, man. I hang out with Mishima. Hi. Do you remember that group of group a while back who were claiming to hack the websites in the name of justice i have pretty high hopes for them but they turned out to be posers the phantom thieves are true heroes though i want to help out however i can so you did the request i asked you to do thanks yeah as your strategic image management come up with ways to help you yeah let's talk to the dude come on let's get going come on let's get going now that you mention it okay but we're meeting up with some fangirls today. All thieves are supposed to have some special ladies, right? I've never heard that before. Really? Really? Random thieves are supposed to steal girls' hearts. Everyone knows that. Actually. Basically, I met some cool girls on the fan site, and we thought it'd be fun to do an in-person meetup. That reminds me, they think we're just part of the fandom. Thank God. Like, don't be just telling anybody who I am. I made up this whole story about how we stumbled onto the fan site one day, so let's stick to that. Don't spill the beans, okay? We're part of the fandom. What the users of the fan site call themselves. It's really caught on as the forums gotten more popular. Um. Either way, you should be excited about this. Mingling with your loyal supporters is a noble cause indeed. Plus, remember how I said I'd help publicize the fan of thieves? This is just the beginning. To be honest, I've never actually met someone from online in person. I wonder if I'll be able to do it right. Did a lot of research though. I know all about footing the bill and buying desserts for the girl. Apparently, if things go well, you might even t t take her home. Mm -hmm. Huh? It's way past our meeting time. They stood you up, bro. Hello, it's Mishi. It's the guy you met on the fan site about our meetup. Huh? You're still at home? What about your friend? We'll be waiting here. Wait, was that a train announcement? I could have swore I heard someone say Shibuya over a loudspeaker. Are you close by? No, I'm not calling you a liar. Yes. Got stood up, bro. Both of them apparently got sick. They're just gonna stay home. <sighs> Seems like they were really into the idea on the forum. <laughs> oh well, my bad. I was so busy with all that, all the new forum posts. I didn't really have time to vet, time to vet them too much. 
Don't overwork yourself, little man. No, no. Don't worry, I'm not. It's just a learning experience. All right. I've got some really good info ready for you guys. I won't let you down. I'll prove just how useful I can be to the Phantom Thieves. Increase EXP. That's a All W. Right. We're supposed to turn out like this. I bet those girls would have never flicked if they knew I was friends with real life Phantom Thieves. <sighs> Being a guardian of justice isn't so easy, huh? Let's go home. Oh, sorry for dragging you out for no reason. People typically use an alias online, so a lot of them don't hold back when they comment. I thought it was going to be a great opportunity to hear their opinions on the Phantom Thieves. It's always better to hear that kind of stuff in person, right? Why are you walking behind me? Get to stepping. You'll get it next time. Leave it to me. Next time we're going to get some real hot gr I mean intel. Alright, I'll get back to modding. Trust me, everything's going to turn out awesome. See ya. Oh, I want to go home. I want to go to school. This sucks. I'm tired every day. I don't want to go to work. Are there any breaks coming up? I need to make a bit more progress on Madarame, so I gotta say, Adarare. We still need to explain the basics to you, don't we? Oh, you mean about the metaverse and the nav? <laughs> yeah, I guess that stuff is pretty important. Okay. Please elaborate. Okay, let's start from the beginning. First, the metaverse spots where we act as the Phantom Thieves are called palaces. Palaces are worlds that take form from someone's cognition. A materialization of their reality. So do we each hold palaces within ourselves as well? No, not just anyone will have one. It's primarily those with strong, distorted desires. They basically gotta be criminals. Real bastards like Kamoshida or Matarame. On the other hand, Palaces can't exist within Persona users. It's just impossible for them to form. Basically, your Persona is the true feelings of your heart, which arise from accepting your inner shadow. Then, since you have full control over your emotions, there's no way your desires can get distorted. S so that's how it works. Uh, obviously. I, I knew that. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, and we use the Metaverse Nav app on our phones to get into that world. It's actually pretty simple. Just say a person's name, location, and distortion, then you're in. Location? Uh, so like, Matarame's would be Shaq. Then his distortion is that he thinks it's a museum. Mm. How do you know what their palace is going to look like if you've never set foot in it before? That part's kind of like a quiz or something. It'll probably get pretty tricky from here on out, too. Hmm. I feel as though I have a good grasp on the basic concepts. Okay. If anything arises which I fail to understand, I'll rely on those more experienced than myself. Yeah, I got you covered, newbie. Uh, you should probably ask Morgana if you need anything. Ask me, I know more than well. Back to Matarame, though. I can't believe he'd consider pressing charges. Yes, I've never seen him show such anger before. He is most likely quite serious about that. What should we do? There's no way we'll be able to win if that happens. He likely won't act on that threat until the final day of the exhibit, June 5th. Simply put, I doubt he would be so foolish as to taint his name with a trial during his exhibition. Alright, so we just gotta steal Matarame's heart by then? There's no way we're gonna let him press charges. We'll show people who he really is. Alright, All right, let's go. I'm gonna bust loose. I'm gonna bust loose. Bust everywhere. Oh yeah, we haven't decided on the new recruit's code name yet. That's true. It has to be Kitsune. You know, with that Kitsune mask and everything. That's hard. Hell yeah, that really leaves an impression. Are you talking about me? Yes. What do you want your name over here to be? Well, I'd say Da Vinci. Nope. Well, you've got that mask like on said, and there's that weird tail. Come on. All right, 
Your Aburage. I don't know. I don't know. He's agreed to it. It's decided then. Aburage. Kitsune was better. Not happening. Yeah, Kitsune is better, bro. Go with that. Do you have any ideas, Joker? Just say fox. Oh, just keep it literal, huh? Sounds good to me. What do you think, Fox? It's acceptable. <laughs> it's set then. Let's go. Bro, Loki don't rock with it. He just don't want to argue. <laughs> I got the hardest name of them all, though. Anyway, we should have Joker decide who our starting lineup is from here on Obviously, out. Obviously, I'm the GOAT. Starting lineup? You mean the ones who will be going in first? Yeah. Now that Fox has joined us, it'll be harder to move around as a group. We'll stand out more, too. Considering how we've operated to this point, we should have four starters. Anyone else can be backup. And I guess we always gotta have our leader with us, right? Yeah. Exactly. That's why we'll have Joker choose the remaining three. And what should the backup do? Would it be best for them to stay outside of the palace? No. They should come in as well, but maintain a reasonable distance from the main group. In other words, the starting lineup is the first wave of our infiltration force. Well, we'll leave the team composition to you, Joker. I'll take hey. you. Thanks. Come on, on Takamaka. Joker. Come on. Yeah. Little man Ryoji. I mean, big man Ryoji. May I get a word in? All right. Come on, big Sorry, man Yosuke. Big man fox. Big fox man. Big fox man. Big fox man. Oh. Big fox man. We get active. Big fox man finna get active. We finna go and do this. Uh. Big fox man finna get active. We finna take a risk. Uh. Finna take a risk. Uh. Finna do the uh. Uh. Finna do uh. 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 Uh, uh. Hit on with that escalate. <laughs> then I'm finna hit a brick. We're here. Let's continue. Then I'm finna snort cocaine. Feeling like slick the Rick, or Rick the slick, or it's really slick. This really suck. These bars are trash. These bars are whack. I cannot cap. Where am I going? Sweet, the security's still down. Thanks to all my hard work. Huh? What do you mean by that? Don't worry about it. Come on, let's keep going. Show me your true. Show form. me your true form. Freezing him is crazy. I'm gonna have Ryoji break it. Get him. Bro, Yusuke looks so cool as like. He looks so cold. Persona, go! I am thou. Yes, a clean hit. Bro's just still napping. These shadows be, they got potty mouths, bro. Like, they just be saying, they just be cussing, bro. Mm-hmm. It looks like. Trying to do a launch in the gallery to reach it. Deeper we go to start security. We need to advance carefully. Joker! 
Yeah, I feel like I might touch them accidentally. Let's be careful as we go through there, okay? Treasure chest spotted. Let's open it. Oh my goodness, I did not see that. Oh, it's there. It's so paper thin. There's a tra Oh, snap. Hey, there's a strong looking one over there. We've seen that kind before. His stance conveys the notion that he is no ordinary foe. I think the control room's behind him. He's probably guarding it to make sure nobody gets too close. However, we'll need to disarm the security if we want to ensure we have a safe infiltration route. Forcing our way through seems to be our only option. Howdy, neighbor. Hey. Let's get him. Hmm? Who, Who are, are you? you? Oh. How did you get in here? Step aside. You me to move just because you tell me to? I'm afraid you're sorely mistaken. I had your persona in P3, bro. You suck. Persona. Your persona was so trash in P3, dog. Great move. He's sleep. What is he gonna do? This is my other self. Go in, Lord. Oh, nice one, Bob. Lend me a hand. Not over yet. Ravage them. That was so easy. Come on now. I got a new power. Whew, that guy was tough. I guess that's just par for the course in a palace. It really was on a totally different level from the other enemies, though. Hmm. He dropped some sort of card. Oh, we got a skill card. What's this for? I've never seen anything like it. Ain't it just some kind of loot? Come on, let's get back to exploring. What was that room? What was that? I saw I saw something. All right, a chat. Oh. You the lock pick. Bro, calm down. Oh. Okay. Go ahead. Indeed. So this appears to be the control room for the security. Sweet, let's turn this off already. Uh look for intel on a password. I can feel it. There's not gonna be nobody that's just blabbering about it in the in the open. Not again. There is, of course there is. Here intruders already got past the central guard and security. I got a call earlier to change the password here too. What to? It better not be simple. I was having trouble coming up with a good one. Uh, I set it to the numbers for Madarame, Laura Madarame's feet. What are you talking about? Let's get back on duty. There's a chance the intruders are nearby. Hmm. What is that supposed to mean? Maybe a shoe size? You know them shoe size? Never heard of mentioning. I was sure that's the proper password. We gotta check on the statue. Goodness, there are some people just lurking, ain't they? Something written here. <laughs> Puffing his chest, ain't he? Secure Madarame's feet. Isn't the password supposed to be a number? I believe there are numbers here. One ray of hope stands alone with two adept hands. One. Two zero. Oh, oh, oh. One one two zero. That's hard. Nice. That is extremely clever. Holy crap. 
W henchman, man. One, one, two, zero. Yes. Dubs. I might need to slow down a bit. It's somewhere. I be getting uncomfortably close. What a giant painting. Indeed, it bears a bizarrely texture as well. It's almost as if I could slip inside. What the? What happened? Um, My hand, it actually entered the painting. So we can go inside of it. I don't see any other path for us to take, so let's give it a try. So we're playing Eve now. I won't forgive you. How dare you trample on my tranquil bamboo garden with those grimy feet. You shall not leave alive. Heck was that? Probably just hearing his thoughts. No need to panic. Madarame. Oh. Oh, we're in another painting. Not merely one, but a multitude hmm. of paintings. It's all connected. Joker. Spot connections with your skills. How foolish. So he dares call us thieves who dirty his heart. The one who has sullied the very nature of art itself has no right to accuse us of such a thing. Save your emotions for later. Give me that. Hey. I should have known. What are you talking about? You should have known what? I should have known you were a sussy boy. Why don't we look All right. Come on. More big paintings like the ones we saw before? There's something off about these though. There are two frames with no paintings at all. Why don't we take a closer look? Hmm. Ain't this just like last time? Secret passage inside. Completely what different. To do? There are even frames with no paintings at all. Alas, this world is a desert filled with laymen who do not understand the true beauty. That bastard never had any real talent to begin with. <laughs> the gods, even in them dormancy, are worshipped constantly. People gather on the shrine gates, offer their money, and return home fully satisfied. Art is practically just set. Shut up! Even that's true, it doesn't give you the right to deceive people. What? Connected exactly, okay. Focus. Hard work is not what makes a sapling grow thick and with leaves. So many young people do not see the true value of youth these days. Fighting, look at me, I'm still a, I will turn into a cat, but I'm still fighting. Asian is a valid excuse. I just hear a bunch of yip yap from him, bro. Like, I don't want to listen to all that. I don't want to hear all that. Could a ship skirt across the ocean if it's crew had to constantly worry about what sea life may lie below? Art, life, water, they're all identical. The one who is sent to the summon is the victor. These are pretty words. He's saying people are like stepping stones. Like saying what he did to all those kids, crushed them for his art. What a piece of crap. I can see it. Beauty is merely a mirage. Transforming that into money is what brings about true happiness. My fine mansion, my lifestyle among the chosen few. Those things are the true art. So running your artillery out of a shabby rundown shack was simply an act after all. How foolish I was to have been deceived for so long. Fox. Let's kill him. Yeah. How despicable. We've encountered so many of his paintings, yet not once did he mention a love for art. These are no paintings. They're just meaningless self-assertions placed into picture frames. I'm excited to see how the change of heart alters him. Let's hurry. Oh my god. 
goodness. Listen up. What the heck? What is up with this place? There's so much gold, it's hurting my eyes. For real? The distortion is especially bad here. It's barely holding up. Plus, it's not even on our map. We must ascertain the truth with our eyes alone. Oh, what the heck? Black rock, crack rock. Black I'll rock, reveal crack your rock. Form. Give your gun back shot. What the heck? How could this be? I thought I'd seen everything there was to see in this distorted world. Was to see, but to think it would conjure up such a bizarre place. So like, which way are we supposed to go? I didn't see any other ways forward, did you? Huh? Well, part of the wall is peeling off, so I guess I pulled it off? That wasn't an actual wall. I see, so it was camouflaged. But it may have been trapped there for eternity had you not noticed that. Nice going. Nice work, Skull, you did it. Sure, you know I just got lucky, Listen right? Up. Might be war walls like this ahead, keep an eye out. Whoa. Did we just warp? Path beyond these adventures are distorted the same way as this room. Oh, heck no, man. They doing too much. They doing too much. This is about to be so trippy. Hey, look at this. Why is this painting here? Probably some kind of illusion. We're in the palace after all. I guess the painting itself might be correct, though. But... You say correct, but aren't they all counterfeit? Although, maybe the real one's here, too. I wonder. Either way, the fact that, the fact that this here is connected to this space somehow. Painting is the Sayori. <laughs> obvious difference. If you look closely, it shouldn't be too difficult to tell them apart. Maybe obvious for you. What do you think, Joker? I don't... I don't know. Right? Seriously, you're the only one who can tell us, Fox. That cannot be real. If you take a closer look, you should be able to ascertain the difference. Hey. No. It's only an illusion, but this painting without a doubt is a spitting image of the true Sayuri. <laughs> well, you should have said that! It flew away. You done in. Uh -huh. Yes. So we're new. Seeing past the false image has opened up a path to the truth. This golden place filled with counterfeit work is a prime example of the alchemy of Madarami's brain. And here, just as in reality, he entraps those who cannot see through his lying facade. You might be right. No wonder the distortion is so strong hey. here. What does that mean? It means finding the real Sayori should break through the distortion. Hey. Impossible. It may be an illusion, but there's no mistaking it's a lore. Nicely done. So the one with a tree bench is the real one. Okay. And a tree branch. Impossible. What? I'm pissed off. Mm. Really? Yes. Really? Really? Yes. Really? Hey. Give me this. Shut up. It's real. Well. Yes, this is the true Sayuri. Maybe. Uh, shut up. Shut up. 
All the versions on display were fake and the real one was hidden. Oh my goodness. Huh? Where did it fly off to? I'd be in my right mind to find Atlas and knock them over the dang skull with a freaking rock. For this bull crap, bro. Hmm. We're back again. What are we supposed to do? See another false image. Something must have changed somewhere. Yeah, I knew it. Yes. Isn't it somewhere new? Be careful. The distortion is growing stronger and deeper we go. Let's go, let's go. Give me this treasure. A blank. Isn't that... Ah, that is... Just as I expected. Madarame. Mm, that means... Then it's a treasure behind him? It's kinda hard to tell from here. Let's get a closer look. Hey. Are you sure you want to go to the front door? I don't know. I'm not exactly a phantom thief, but I think that's a little stupid. A bit hazy for the time being we have a set the calling card once we send the card and make Matarame aware it'll be stolen it'll materialize like yoo-hoo I wonder what form it will take who knows that is something like a self-portrait the source of what distorted Matarame's reality this much So, what now? Think it's safe to say we got a root set? No. Hmm. We know where the treasure is, but I'm not sure that we've necessarily secured the root. Huh? Why is that? You must be talking about the infrared lasers surrounding it. That, and the outer perimeter is swarming with guards. Forcing our way through will be difficult. So we'll need to find a way to steal it, too. <sighs> this is tougher than it was with Kamoshida. We just have to make one final push. Let's check this floor. Yes, a safe room. Whoa! A control room. Then we can turn the lasers off here? Probably. Or maybe not. Oh, yep. Yeah. Power backup generator should bring it back up in no time. <laughs> Main active. We'll only be able to turn the power off in there for a few seconds. Wait! Aren't those guards that just ran headed our way? What else should we try? Only Lord Madarame can access this terminal due to maximum security protocol. Disabling the infrared rays is not within the realm of possibility. Yeah. More places that we can explore. Tamper with the electricity.
Ooh, that was a surprise. All we managed to do was open the shutters. Indeed. On top of that, we can only turn the lights off briefly. The lights remain unaffected. Let's see what's past those shutters. Ugh! Do. Let's get him. I want that what how did you all you know what doesn't even matter now that you've seen this place you won't be leaving alive Oh no this guy I don't see a weakness Persona Not this There I am thou. Die! <laughs> Saw that. Whoa! -ho! That's how true yeah! fantasy do it. Is getting bullied. Oh my goodness. He is getting bullied. I feel bad. This man is catching the jumping of a lifetime, bro. He just caught the jumping of a lifetime. He really just got, oh my lord. I almost feel bad. I almost feel bad. I'd like to try this skill soon. I almost feel pity for the guy, man. He got did terrible. What even was that? It got all... I don't even know how to describe it. Come on, Mona. You never told us what these will seeds will do. Um... So that's what happened. I never expected that. I mean, I never expected anything less than that to happen. Ah, so you had no clue either. No! Who cares about the details? What really matters is the power I'm sensing from it. Maybe it can give us the upper hand. Huh? Listen up. Phantom Thief makes us... Makes use of any available tool to accomplish the mission. Who knows what we will find next? If we find ourselves in a situation where this could be useful, let's see what it can do. Hmm? Some kind of security room too? No, it's most likely where the mechanisms in the exhibition hall are controlled from. Given the number of hanging works, it would make sense to have a room dedicated to controlling them. The observational skills of an artist are out of this world. Ah. Moves up wire. Fox deduction was on point. Ah. I want to pull it. Hey, look! Ain't this right above the treasure? 
Oh look, there aren't any latencies above it. This is quite a large hole in their security. What do we do? Jump down to retrieve it? Man. We wouldn't be able to get out if we did that though. Look up. Oh. A crane with a hook. Didn't we see something earlier like a, a, a set of controls on that crane? Let's go back and check it out. Before that, I want to check over here. Alright. Check out that window in a bit. Joker. Wait. Stop, stop. They'll notice if you go keep that up. Get back, get up, get, get up there. Hmm. This could be useful. Do you plan on descending on that hook? Would they not spot you the moment you were lowered down? No, not necessarily. There's something I can do to make sure that doesn't happen. Turn invisible? Hey. Do anything about crazy noise? Turn the lights off? Hold a moment. For a few seconds, there wouldn't be enough time to make it all the way okay, there. Good idea. Split up the tasks and work together to pull off this heist. One person will shut down here, one person will lower the crate, and I'll grab the treasure. That's not gonna work. Seems like they'd realize what's going on at some point. Sometimes bold moves have the greatest payout, unless someone has a better idea. Sounds like a plan. You really you don't understand what being a fan of Thief really yeah. means. Alright, it's settled. Our infiltration route is secured. You gotta be kidding me. Now then, it's time for the calling card. It's just a window. Mm -hmm. Really? It's just a window? Alright, bro. They had it looking like it was gonna be something more interesting than just a window. Oh! Indeed. Alright guys, we secured our route. Let's get out of here. Bro's feeling himself, dog. What the heck? He was feeling himself. Whew. Oh Lord. Inmate. You seem to be doing well, inmate. Come inside. We have an important matter to discuss. to discuss regarding your rehabilitation. Yes, ma'am. Coming. There you are, inmate. What? Our master admires the progress of your rehabilitation, and hence has given you use of a special ritual. It's the electric chair, used to sacrifice personas and transmutate them into high-level items. Any further questions regarding this ritual can be directed toward our master himself. He's apparently gonna consider making even more rituals if your rehabilitation goes as planned. Work hard for it, inmate. Okay. I plan to re. Do you need something? I plan to rehabilitate. What y'all doing, my man? Are seen like that, bro? It appears it will become something. I guess it'll. This shall be the now. Be reborn. Man, I hate to do you like this, Jackie. No, I can't watch. I can't watch. Oh, I can't even use it. When I hit level 25, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a buy Izanagi. If y'all watch my P3 playthrough, y'all know. Oh what? Do you need something? If you watch my P3 play through, through, then you know. If I, if bro, if I pay for the DLC, I'ma use the DLC. You feel me? But I'm not. I don't want to be cheap about it and have a dang level 20 persona while I'm level 15. You know? So I'ma grab. I'ma get Izanagi, who's level 20, when I'm level 25. You feel me? I think it's only right if I use a DLC something? persona that's a under leveled. You know? 
if I get a DLC persona that's under level, you know? I feel like that's only right. Magoto. You Narakami. Hold on. No Y'all see what I did? I said Magoto and Narukami. You know, Kami in Japanese is God. Like he a like he a god for real. Cause he just different like that. What's up? No, we don't want you in the starting lineup. Go about your day. What do you want to do? Nobody really rocks with you for real, man. Alright, that settles it. Fascinating. I cannot even begin to fathom what Madarami's treasure may be. Either way, we'll steal it for sure. Oh, and you all did great today. Pat, say that while patting my head. We did good, guys. All right? We yeah. need a calling card. You're right, and once we send the... The heist is the only thing left. We have to succeed. I'll let you decide when we're going to do it, Joker. Let's make sure we're ready before then. Honestly, I think we're ready for it now. Ah, you're back. Okay. Send the calling card to Madarame. All right, it's finally time. We gotta decide when we're gonna do it. Should we talk to Yusuke about it first? Why? Madarame was his teacher. It's not our place to decide something like this. Let's talk to Yusuke. This problem's bigger than the three of us. But we all meet up at the hideout. Why doesn't use why isn't you scan the group chat? Shut up! Why isn't big man you scan the group chat? You ride this train at this time too. <laughs> what a coincidence. We finished investigating the palace. All that's left is the calling card. When are you going to send it? Let's send it today. That's the spirit. I want to stop that man as soon as possible. Let's get together after school then. I'll be waiting for you. I'll be waiting for you, he says. Hope he doesn't mean that in a... Hope he doesn't mean that in a freaky way. Oh, have you heard? Madarami, the maestro of the art world. Artists with a good of an eye are rare in Japan. What if he has synesthesia? I don't care. Shut up! If you're gonna make me answer three questions back to back, you can at least give me a little more knowledge, alright? Let's go. We can now take him down, yes? Madarame is going to be a changed man. There won't be any way to revert it, though. You sure you're okay with that? Why would we want to revert it? I have thought it over carefully. And I cannot think of a future in which he does not pay his dues. He has preyed not only on the art world, but on countless talents. So, I humbly request your help. Alright. I apologize for making you do this. We were gonna do it regardless. We just didn't want to impose if you weren't feeling up to it, Yusuke. But if you're already determined to do it, then there's nothing more for us to say. If I recall, our next step is sending a calling card, correct? <laughs> what a suave maneuver. It's not about acting cool. The calling card is a way to trigger a change in his cognition. A change in cognition? Uh, that reminds me, you went through some trouble regarding that before. Ah, you must be talking about when we forced open that security gate in the courtyard. The palace is a cognitive world, so changing its ruler's cognition changes the topography. Basically. Very nicely put, Lady On. You're absolutely correct. This will be a vital tactic from here forward. Actually, may I ask a truly basic question? You continue to mention cognition quite readily. What? Why does this world formed from materialized cognitions even exist to begin with? Don't tell me. Has it always existed while we go about our daily lives, completely oblivious? Honestly, I'm not sure. At the very least, I know it existed before the Kamoshida incident. But that's all. I see. Crap, you totally caught me off guard with that. It's kind of weird thinking there might be whole worlds we just don't know a damn but thing about. Really? 
It is, because if you think about it, the dungeons in Persona 4, they were really just the cognitions of how other people saw the, um, saw the kidnapped victims as. You know, like, Yukiko herself saw herself as a caged bird, and other people saw her as, like, some, t some sort of princess, and that's why she was in a, she was, she was a lady, uh, she was a princess locked away in a castle. You feel me? And that cognition, and the cognition of the other, of the outside world, and Yukiko's own perception of herself merged together and created not only her shadow, but also her castle. If you really think about it. Did the thought ever cross your mind? Of course it did. Don't be so anxious. You don't even know everything about the city you live in, after all. Facts. All that's important is that we know how to make use of that world and how to traverse it. I'll just add this. Before we do anything, we save. Y'all know I'm a save junkie, bro. Like I get, I get high off of that, bro. Like I, I snort save. You feel me? <laughs> what the heck? Then it's decided. Let's prepare the calling card at once. We're taking care of this now. A calling card, huh? Will he take it seriously? He is famous after all. He has often received slanderous letters till now as well. He'll know best whether the crime written on it is for real or not. Wait, are you going to write it again, Ryuji? That last one was questionable at best. No, it was hard. You should do it then, Yusuke. Oh, make it really artistic and stuff. No, it'll end with him figuring it out. He knows my drawing and writing styles all too well. Oh, then I'll think it up and you make it cooler. Designing a calling card. Hmm. Interesting. It shall become proof that the Phantom Thieves do exist. It's decided then. Great. All that's left is to make the treasure ours. Let's get it. You guys better come fully prepared. It does not take that long to send a calling card. Ah, you're back. Try changing the chat icon. Looks the same to me. Maybe it's just for the group and doesn't show up in here. Well, you should take a look later. It's that Phantom Thieves logo I had Yusuke draw for us. Calling card turned out great because I am too. Anyways, it's the first draw for the Phantom Thieves. We really can't screw this up. Underestimating or anything, I assure you. Yusuke gets a lot of rest today. Man, this song is so hey, smooth. 